Hello, everyone. So I made a bit of an oopsie. Um, I filmed a second episode for uh, this this little let's play we're doing here, a fresh start, and um, my uh, my editing software didn't uh, decided it didn't want to. What the hell? Anyway, it decided it didn't really want to um, play its games with me. So today, what we're going to do is basically just do what we did in the second episode. Um, we're going to do the same mission we just did, which is restoration. So let's just hop right into this. I've decided to do a couple of things. Firstly, um, I'm going to get rid of that little intro thing, that little intro card that I had at the beginning of the first episode. Um, I think it's just a little too loud and a little too flashy. I figure it's probably just a little easier to... Uh, probably just a little easier to just play the game and uh, and let it let it flow a little easier. I'm not entirely sure the first uh, the first our first encounter with the fallen counts is a survival. I ran around and punched everything with my magic. A guardian ship all right. So, for those of you that missed our little journey to the tower, which is all of you, because I, my recording software decided it didn't want to comply, what happened last time is we got to level three. We received a, an upgrade to our little Kvostov, which is this pulse rifle, as well as an upgrade to our secondary, which is a new sniper. Um, we got a new chest piece, we got a new helmet, uh, really nothing else happened. I explained how the light works, so basically just to show you, uh, and elaborate a little more to those who don't play Destiny, um, so you see how this has a defense of 5, and this armor, which is, requires level 4, which I'm almost level 4, uh, is a defensive level of, uh, oh boy, defense of 21. So... Uh, once we get to level four, I will show you uh, show you what happens to this little this little number up here, which is our light level. And basically, our light level is how strong we are. Now, I set myself a challenge for every episode. I've decided that that's the way I want to play this Let's Play. So the challenge that I did in our second episode that uh, is now is uh, this episode technically, uh, but the first the first uh, the first take of the. Um, of our second episode, I uh, I did primary only, so um, not a terribly hard um, uh, challenge, but um, it's something. So we're only going to be using our primary, no grenades, no melee, and no uh, no sniper rifle, which obviously won't be too hard, but it should be something. I'll set harder challenges as we get through the game, and we uh, we have a, uh, a little bit more to work with. Um, I'm not going to do something like super only because that'll be super boring. You get my you get, that was a funny. But I will be doing stuff like uh, grenade melee only, uh, solo sniper rifle run. Maybe I, I might try a couple stealth runs, but I'm sure there are going to be days where I don't want to set challenges for myself. And in that case, we'll just uh, we'll just do a couple missions, just uh, just playing around. You know, the the game is meant to be played in its in its uh, full state, so. Uh, you know, maybe, uh, maybe challenges, uh, aren't always the best way to go, but they, I, I think, add a little bit of flair to the game, which is otherwise just point and shoot and stuff. And I'm hoping to get to level 4 here, so that I can show you guys how light works and progresses in this game, and how it relates to how powerful you are. Uh, I probably need to kill a few more enemies first, but it's telling us we need to go down this way. This looks fun. What a fun time. Alright, and apparently this is where we are. And as always, we gotta deploy the ghost to make things happen. Deploy ghost to progress story. So we can jump to any planet or moon. Hmm, yes. Very interesting. Alright, so basically what he just said was we gotta go back to the same spot where we got our ship. We gotta do, uh, we gotta go get a warp drive that's in fallen hands already. And that warp drive will allow us to, uh, 
to go a little farther in our uh, in our journey. Oh, and I got my double jump. Also something I haven't uh, I haven't explained. Uh, level three brought an upgrade to my Stand jump, and drive. this little chest I almost missed. It's already in fallen hands. All right, I actually might be able to uh, to show you this now. Now, uh, if you will notice, uh, my level five or my light level five um, my gauntlets here, and these I actually don't even need these because these gauntlets are even better. This has 22 defense, this has 5 defense, so look at this little number up here as I switch my armor. I gained two levels there. That basically means that I'm a little bit stronger. There are two different levels. Uh, there's the actual XP level, which is, uh, you know, it's just a it's just a more, more of a consequential thing because it's an RPG, you have to, you have to be leveling up um, as you as you do things, but this is really the number we care about. Um, once we get towards the higher levels, this will change much more drastically. We'll get into the hundreds. Um, but right now, all you need to know is the light level is uh, how strong we are. So as we get that number higher, the stronger we are. And this is where we found it. And there it is. This is where we found our our ship. And I uh, and I panicked and tried to. Uh, Almost died meleeing a captain to death. Uh, captain. All right, cool. Level four. And uh, we got a uh, another part of our quest done. Oh boy, this fun guy. So this is the guy we saw at the end of the episode, our previous episode, and um, our ghost did tell us we'd come back for this guy. I am shooting things in the face as much as I can. I think at one point this guy rushes us. I haven't played this mission in a long time. But I think he just like rushes us and tries to eat our face or something. Not actually eat our face, but he does get closer to us. He makes it a bit more annoying to have to deal with him. And these guys keep showing up. Oh boy. Now I didn't I didn't get this far in my plan. Um, out of primary ammo. Um, I'm sure something I killed over here dropped primary ammo. Anything? Nothing dropped primary ammo. I'm gonna melee some stuff and hope that it gives me something. Oh boy, yep, alright. I did get ammo at the cost of most of my health. It would also be extremely embarrassing if I died on the second mission of the game, because it'll be very telling of how of how terrible I am at video games in general. But you've, if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll understand that already. Speaking of which, if any of you guys have ever played Halo Reach and um, you uh, you did you enjoyed that game, go check out some of my previous videos. Me and some of my friends got out of maps and found glitches in Halo Reach. But this was years ago when Halo Reach was still a, um, a very very thriving and popular game. Not that it's not a very popular game, but uh, it's definitely not a you know triple A title of today. But uh, it being on, uh, or it being cross compatible with current generation systems, uh, we might jump in there for a video once, once or twice. Maybe trying to recreate some of the glitches we did. So we beat the boss, and we are heading back to the tower. Now, once we get back into orbit, I do want to explain a couple of things, and you'll see right there we just unlocked our super. Our super, our superpower, because we're basically superheroes in this game. Undead zombie superheroes. So now that we're here, we're back in orbit, uh, I do want to show you a couple of things, just to, just to clarify some stuff for characters that don't know. This is our inventory screen, um, where we just got an, upgraded, an upgrade to our primary. We got a scout rifle. It's a neat looking scout rifle, nothing too fancy. It's going to shoot stuff in the face. Now, once we get a level, we get a little plus sign in something. If we go here, you'll see that we upgraded something. So that ba our, that is Nova Bomb. That is our super. It basically just sends a giant bomb of void energy at people and kills them. So let's just go over a couple of the screens that are here right now. Uh, we have the progress screen, which is going to show us our active quests. It'll help us uh, level up our character. This right here, we have to speak to Ikora in the tower, and we have to speak to Ikora in the tower. All right, so those are two easy ones that we'll we'll uh, complete in the same the same run. Investigate fallen strongholds in the Cosmodrome. Complete the missions that would dark within and Warmind. 
Okay, so those are just things that'll happen. But right now, this will be the first time you guys see the tower, and I am sad to say that you missed the first entrance into the tower. Uh, it's a nice little cinematic cutscene, uh, if you want to look that up. I'm sure it's on YouTube somewhere. But once we get to the tower, we should have a couple things to do. So just give us one second, I'll, I'll jump cut here. 